Trump tried to execute a hostile takeover of the Republican Party and succeeded. And if you want to extend that analogy a little bit, he saw that this company had an undervalued asset, which was political opposition, and the shareholders, that is, Republican voters and activists, weren't getting value out of their investment. So he offered them a higher price for their shares if they would let him take over, and they did. And he has managed to fire most of the management. But there are still some minority shareholders, you could call them, and those are the elected representatives and senators who have their own constituencies, their own claim to lead the party. And they're not really part of this bargain to allow Trump to take over. So um, they're resisting his new policies. And some of them would like to cut him down to size and make him a less consequential president, one who will simply do what they want to do. What they want to do has very little to do with achieving anything in a grand scale, but really just getting reelected. I know there are some very committed and idealistic people on Capitol Hill, but they're not the ones driving the agenda right now. Mm. And I think there are some good people in leadership as well, but they have failed to lead their party. And as a result, you've got this mushy middle, this morass that operates according to the timeless laws of Washington, which are that lobbyists help raise money, therefore lobbyists and donors get what they want, and constituents and activists come a distant second in terms of the pecking order. I think that's where we are right now. And the fact that the Senate uh, is likely to stay in Republican hands means that, unfortunately, some of these Republican senators don't feel pressure from their own constituents. That may change if some primary battles emerge, but I don't see that happening either. So it looks like gridlock for now until the sheer force of public pressure becomes too much to resist. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.